having a healthy, loving relationship. I'm going to talk about why you might be struggling with this. So the first reason is that you can have an entanglement that's like an energetic bond with somebody else of the family system. Maybe your parents, grandparents, great-grandparents. And when they did not have a good relationship, and we have an entanglement with them, we follow their patterns, their steps. We do it the same way, unconsciously. So we start auto-sabotaging our relationships in order to fail, because unconsciously, this is what we're looking, to do it the same way as they did, to suffer like they suffered. And this is the work that we do in Family Constellations, to let go of those entanglements, so that we can have the life that we want without repeating the patterns of the past, the patterns of the others in the family system. We can also have an entanglement with an ex-partner of one of our parents. Ex-partners need to be honored, respected, to be thanked that they left their relationship so that the new relationship is able to happen. And when this does not take place, one of the children can have an entanglement with those ex-partners. So if I have an entanglement with my father's ex-partner, it's a little bit like my energy is connected to him. And I don't, mean, I don't mean in a romantic way. And when this happens, I'm not completely available for a new relationship because my energy of relationship is connected to him. And you can see this when you see a very close relationship with father and daughter or with mother and son. Sometimes these relationships even uh, feel like they are in competition with the mother. For example, if I have an entanglement with an ex-partner, it's like I have this energy of partner with my father and then I, I feel in competition with my mother and I feel that I need to gain my father's love more than her. And it makes an unhealthy relationship with my mother. And it affects me because then I'm not available for a relationship of my own. I feel connected already to somebody else. And all this is unconscious. I'm not aware that this is going on, but it can affect our loving relationship with somebody else. Another reason why we might have problems is because we have not worked with our previous relationships. And this means honoring, respecting them and saying thank you for the relationship. Bringing some closure, also saying this relationship is over and it's part of the past. We need to be able to take the responsibility for our part in the relationship of what did not work and to leave the responsibility of the other with, with, with them. And to honor, respect and say thank you, to leave it in the past. And this opens doors for future relationships. But if we're still angry, if we're still upset, if we're still holding on to feeling hurt with a relationship of the past, this is not gonna allow us to be completely open to a new re relationship. Another reason is that um, we can have an interrupted movement, which is a break of the bond with our mother. So if we were separated in an early age, probably before two years from our mother, we can have a break of, in the bond with her. And when this happens, it's like we feel hurt, we feel angry, we feel lost. The most important person in our lives that is our mother is our first close loving relationship is gone and we don't understand what's going on we don't understand that she's in the hospital or that we're in the hospital or that she went for a trip and she's coming back for whatever reason we just connect to the emotions of feeling hurt lost and angry and because we're so young we're not able to deal with these relationships and off with, and with this with these emotions and often we get stuck with them and what happens is that when we are having a new relationship, when we are already adults and we start having a serious relationship, we don't want to commit. We're afraid. We don't know why. We make excuses. But the real reason is that we are afraid to get hurt the way that we were hurt when there was the separation from our mother. So that can be another reason why we don't have uh, successful relationships, healthy relationships with partners. Another reason is that... Um, we have not separated from our parents. So when we are young, we belong to the sphere of the family, of together, of being together with them. And at some point we need to separate from them and to separate physically, to be independent, to have our own ways of, of living without uh, counting on them, without being dependent on them, depending on what they say, depending on them giving us ways to survive, giving us money. We need to be, make this complete separation. And when we don't, then 
it can affect our future relationships because we are still attached to our family, to our family with our parents. And that doesn't give us complete liberty to have our own family if we haven't made this separation. Another reason is that um, we all have masculine and feminine, and we need to accept both. We need to honor and respect both. When we're rejecting one part, then we're not complete and we're not able to fully complete ourselves with another person. And if we reject the masculine in our, ourselves or on others, because we have stories about men, that men are bad, that men are difficult, or stories about women for whatever reason, it's going to be hard for us to have a healthy relationship with whoever we're having a relationship. So it is important to honor and respect both the feminine and the masculine, men and women, to respect them and to accept them. Because when we are rejecting one part, that's going to affect our relationship with somebody else. So this is what I wanted to share with you. I hope that all this information is helpful and I hope you have a wonderful day.